Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Coyotes start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. The Predators look to start the transition game. Quick feed to O'Reilly. And it parents off the club and it stays out. Ingram's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes the save. Big time defensive play. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Sends the pass over. That's blocked. Takes that pass back at the point. Big time stop. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. But the goaltender's job to find the puck, he finds it and makes the save. Keller's great at making accurate passes, guys. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, and that's what helps him create scoring chances. Yossi's known for his wheel zone ability, which is his skating speed to create scoring chances. Those are two players I'm going to watch closely to see if one of them could be a difference maker for their team tonight, guys. Back to you. Made the save on the play. Saros is such a technically sound goaltender. He's able to make that save look easy and redirects the puck to the corner, getting it out of the line of fire so that everyone can reset and look to hound it for retrieval. The Predators have it now. Here's a short pass to Barry. With some open space at center. Here they come on the attack. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Moves it quickly over to Bierstad. Oh, a tremendous save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. The Predators are being called for tripping. advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one and analytics will tell you when you score first chances are you win the game. Jocelyn for the puck and loses control and he slides it quickly to Schmaltz. Makes it look easy with the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Shen. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Moves it to Kerfoot. Takes the pass. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And they send it down the ice. When you're hounding pucks and applying this type of pressure, it usually results in two things, a penalty or a goal. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And that shot dies in traffic. Clearing attempt. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. The Coyotes run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Power plays dictate games, and this one did not, and the coach will not be happy with the setup or the opportunity that this unit gave them. Nashville's looking to break out. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Past the halfway mark of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Oh, big time. No, it's in. It's in. Looks like he had it, but not the case. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender.
The Predators have taken a 1-0 lead here past the midway mark of the opening frame. It hasn't been easy to get here, has it? We nope. haven't seen any offense in this game, and they get the first one, and they have to find a way to continue. Where there's one, you got to try and find two, continue to attack. Quick pass to Bugstad. Oh, what a save by Severs. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it and makes the save. Saros has that post-to-post -post zone ability, which is his lateral movement that helps him shut down cross-crease chances, guys. When he makes those big saves, he can really get inside those shooters' heads. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Quick feed to Tomasino. Nashville's got it along the wall. The Coyotes gain control of the puck. Arizona's got it along the wall. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Yossi. Great save from in tight. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. The Coyotes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. The Coyotes move it ahead. And that's intercepted by Novak. The Predators are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. they got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Coyotes are fortunate that they're only down by one goal heading into the second here, James. I mean, it's been a brutal first period of turnovers. Just seems like there's a lack of communication out there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Nashville's ahead, 1-0. The Coyotes win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. What a block as he lays out, and I'm sure he'll feel that one. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Coyotes have it behind the net. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Along the half wall with the puck. Here he is, takes the shot. That's blocked. Schmaltz moves it into the attacking end. Saucer pass across. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. The Coyotes haven't had a lack of scoring opportunities, but they are still behind on the scoreboard. Brilliant save, run it perfectly. Yossi's got the puck in his own zone. The Predators carry it along the wall. Let's see what the officials are calling. You're trailing by one and you take a penalty, not the way to get back in the game. First chance to use the man advantage. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice. The setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. The Predators have added to their lead, and they're now up by two, Cheryl. They've had a fantastic game so far, James, and you want to be consistent. You want to find a way to close it out. The only way you do that is continue. Don't change the mindset. Continue to press, and don't get complacent. Moves it quickly over to McBain. Here's a chance! Denied by the puck stopper. Saro selects to hang on for the whistle, and as a defender, do you like these sorts of moves by your goalie? Yeah, I don't mind it at all, James. I mean, when your goaltender elects to hold on when they haven't been busy, and when you have a lead and you know you can protect it, I don't mind it at all. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. No room for that one to get through. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Puck battle along the boards. Blast plays it now. Slides the puck to Novak. 
McDonough's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Here he is in the open ice. Oh, the breakaway! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Play well, continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. The Coyotes will play it from the defensive zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Handles the pass. Just puts it wide of the net. Dished on over to Sissons. McDonough's got it on the offensive end. Nashville's on the attack. Find some space in the corner. From in close. Oh, and it stays out as it goes off the shaft with a stick on that one. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. O'Reilly's moving the puck through his own zone. Sends it ahead to Nyquist. Intercepted at center by Brown. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. We'll get a reset after the net was knocked off. The Coyotes have had no shortage of opportunities tonight, but at some point, they need to start finishing here late in period number two. Nashville's got the win off that draw. Tries to get it to Forsberg. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Big stop just as time expires in the period. 40 minutes of play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. When the home team wins, you win $10 off at Rob's. When the home team wins, bring your Welcome back, James Sadowski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. And the clock is ticking here on period number three. Well, two periods down, here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Arizona's gonna have to outwork the goaltender here, James. I really like their play in the offensive zone. They've driven the paint, they found ways to get the puck to net, they just haven't solved the riddle of the goaltender. They're gonna have to get some net front presence and take away the eyes if they want to put it in. The Coyotes are on the attack. Forces the turnover. Taken along the wall by Barry. The Predators will play it in their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it to O'Reilly. Takes a moment behind the net. Nyquist made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Nick Bain's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move over. He might have a step here. All alone. Oh, what a defensive play. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Turned aside with a glove by Saros. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Glass will look to win possession here on the face-off and try to continue this power play on the right note. And they win the draw here in their own end. Tomasino's got it across the line. Puts it on there. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. Centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Dumps it into the Ozone. Quick pass across to Yossi. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. Moves it again. And that's stopped. Quick pass to Bugstad. McBain's almost out of the box. 
Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. Well, trailing in this game, James, this was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. Oh, what a smart heads up play. And does it again. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Grabs the puck behind the net. Grabbed along the board by Soderstrom. Good stand-up hit on the play. Moves it around along the half wall. And now he moves it quickly to Jersey. And he makes the save. Handles the puck. Nashville's got it in their own zone. Directs it on over to McBain. Arizona's got the puck against the boards. And that's off target as it hits a body. The Predators have it behind the cage. Trying to get back on the attack now. Can't get... Oh! And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save. Scores! Well, don't turn this off just yet. We've got ourselves a game. Well, a deficit of only one now. Their opponent is on their heels, and now they're playing with a sense of urgency. Watch out. You can feel the wave coming, James. Well, that's a goal scorer's goal, James. I mean, he's got great moves, he's got great hands, and he finds his way to the back of the net. I mean, he has to manipulate the defender, pull them out of position, and he does yet again. Arizona's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Seros. third member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? Keller's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Denies him with the pad. Saros has been great tonight, James. I mean, he's been under, he's really peppered in his own zone, but he's fine in the puck. He's out battling his opponent, and it's a reason it's a tight game. Here we go, look at this there. Really a fight the squeeze down with the offensive end. That is a lonely cage at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical, got to win this faceoff. Kerfoot's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be to task. The Coyotes send their man advantage unit out once more. Offense is on faceoff, and he wins the draw. Successful clearing attempt. Angles it over to Falamaki. Dishes it to Kerfoot. Shot! Big save right at the end! And that'll close the bit on this one as the final horn sounds. Nashville's picked up the win in a game that they were certainly dominated in the possession numbers, but hey, they really kind of maximized their opportunity, Cheryl. Yeah, that's what opportunistic means. I mean, they were able to connect and score when they had the opportunities, but I'm telling you, James, their coaches will look at this video. They'll want to make sure that the team knows exactly what went wrong, because sometimes when you win these games, it can mask the deficiencies within your game. Fun night at the Rankin for all of us here in the EA Sports team. I'm James Sabalski. Good night.